I get asked all the time, how do you ruche petite frosty rays? It's one of those things that I use in a lot of stitch guides to create a fluffy effect. We're going to use it on the antlers of the girl with deer to create snow. So we start out with a single strand of petite frosty rays threaded in our needle. And petite frosty rays is a casing made from nylon that has a metallic thread run up the center. Regular frosty rays, same thing, just has a fatter metallic thread up the center. I use petite for 18 count and 13 count. So I've threaded it in my needle, I've anchored it within my area with just a little tacking stitch. You want to make sure the thread can't move and most importantly you want to make sure the core can't move. So I start with a knot on my thread, the knot is behind my stitching area. Bring my needle up at one end of the area and then pull the core. You don't have to pull the core very far. Maybe in this case an inch and a half and you can see I didn't pull it far. That's all that I pulled out. Doesn't look like it did anything to the petite frosty rays but as you slide the casing down toward the canvas, you've actually gotten a lot more fluff than you think you did. So then I'm just going to do a long stitch. Doesn't matter if they're straight, on the angle, whatever. You can still use your fingernails and kind of pull the casing a little bit from the back if you think you've gotten too much. Bring your needle up to one side or the other so you can make another stitch. Again, just pull that inner core a little bit, maybe an inch and a half. Slide the casing down toward the canvas and make your stitch. Keep doing this until the area is filled and fluffy and whatever look you want. Eventually, as you're doing it, that center core is going to get in your way. So, needle up. Don't pull too hard, otherwise you'll undo what you just did. Stretch it out, inch and a half. And like I said, now I've got this big long string here. Just start cutting those tails off. Slide this down toward the canvas and sink your needle. This is great for snow, for um, steam coming out of a teapot, for tutus on a ballerina's dress, anything that you want to be fluffy. This is just instant gratification and one of those things that, wow, look at this that the thread can do. You can also do it similarly with Neon Rays Plus or Petite Sparkle Rays, but there, instead of pulling on the core, you're just going to pull one ply and allow it to gather. But basically, that's all there is to it, so hope this helps. Bye!